With crossover so darn popular, it seems the new Buick Regal Tourex should be a slam dunk success. It hauls cargo like a crossover, comes with trendy cladding like a crossover, and gets standard all-wheel drive, something not all crossovers get. But this sleek machine is a station wagon, a rather fetching one at that. It's a great body style for buyers that need room for family and gear, but want something unique. A round of applause for General Motors. Pretty gutsy move bringing a wagon to market. Or maybe it's just smart. The only real competitors to Tourex are the six cylinder version of the Subaru Outback and the Volvo wagons V60 and V90, especially the cross country models. The Audi All Road is definitely smaller than this. Regal Torex is aggressively priced for a GM vehicle, with retail starting at about 30 grand. The top trim Essence model I'm driving is optioned up to $39,760. That's a couple thousand bucks higher than a comparable Outback Limited if you nix this $1,000 white frost tricoat paint. As tested, there's navigation and decent Bose audio. The driver's confidence package adds LED lighting, wireless phone charging, plus safety features like cross path detection and blind spot warning. Another $1,200 would buy a package with adaptive cruise and automatic emergency braking, just so you know. As a wagon owner myself, an insider's tip, if you rack your sports gear like skis, kayaks, and bikes, it's easier to do on a wagon because the roof line is lower than an SUV or crossover. No matter the trim, the powertrain is the same. This two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine pumps out 250 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. That's a little more than the Volvo V60 puts out. The transmission is an 8-speed that, huzzah, gets a mechanical shift lever. While lifted slightly, the ground clearance is just 5.7 inches. The all-wheel drive system has active rear torque vectoring for improved traction and cornering. The turbo engine is pretty smooth. It can also scoot. 0 to 60 happens in about 6.5 seconds, so you will not complain about power. Subaru Outback has three additional inches of ground clearance. Find yourself in deep snow or very rugged forest service roads often? Uh, that's something to consider. But the Buick aces the highway trip that leads to the trailhead. This is a Buick. Do I even need to say it's quiet and comfortable? It's not floaty like your parents' old Buick, but it's not sporty either. It's sort of in the middle. The dynamic is appropriate for the way this car will be driven. Enthusiasts might check out a BMW 3 Series Sports Wagon or Jaguar's XF Sport Brake and a much bigger loan. The transmission doesn't have any modes like Sport or Eco. It does change gears smoothly, but likes to upshift aggressively for better fuel economy. Also, doesn't kick down readily either. My week with Torex was a rainy one, and that reduces efficiency. I saw an average of 24 miles per gallon on specified premium grade gasoline. The Buick's EPA average is a tiny bit thirstier than the Volvo V6 Cross Country, but a couple MPGs more efficient than the six cylinder Outback. Torex has a fuel saving automatic engine start stop system. When you come to a stop sign, the engine automatically shuts off. Take your foot off the brake, it very smoothly restarts, and General Motors does a very good job with this technology. It does not provide a button to turn that off. However, it can be defeated by either putting the car into manual mode or turning on max AC. You're welcome. A cool standard safety feature? There's an active hood pedestrian system that senses an impact between 16 and 30 miles an hour and uses a pyrotechnic device to raise the back of the hood by four inches to help reduce injury or avoid the situation altogether by not texting and driving. Inside, the vibe is modern Buick. I find the design and material quality a step up from the Subaru, but not nearly as warm and luxurious as the more expensive Volvos. The armchair product planner in me wonders how much it would cost to install Lexus grade materials in here to snag more shoppers, or replace the graphic of the last generation LaCrosse with the Tourex. Details like that and smoother operation here matter these days. 
At least door releases feel solid. The leather seats, only offered in the Essence trim, offer just the right amount of bolstering and are supportive for long trips. They're heated too, as is the steering wheel. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. Apps like audiobooks.com can be loaded on GM's interface. There are even free audiobooks, like this one from Bill Nye, uh, we used to work together. Or this one, the New York Times app, uh, we used to work together. <laughs> it lets you listen to the daily. I'm such a name dropper. So, evil twin, gotta ask, are you a wagon fan? You know, it's the one thing I agree with you on, and I especially like this one because there is loads of room back here. I can really stretch out, lots of foot room too. There's storage, more storage. I like that there are two pockets and I can easily charge my phone. The drive shaft tunnel is on the bigger side and this being the top essence model, I think there should be heated seats, at least available. Other than that, two adults will do well back here and three will be good for moderate excursions. I like kicked open tailgates, but my experience is the sensors are not always easy to find. Buick offers up a lighted logo to target. Though gotta say, it's not always easy to see. This will keep valuables away from envious eyes. The tie-down rail system feels straight out of a German luxury car. There's everything you'd want in a vehicle back here, except a spare, and Tourex does not have run flats. Ask me how I know. These releases are handy since it would be hard to reach the seat backs in this cavernous space. With the chairs flat, and it is very flat, there are some 74 cubic feet of space to stash all sorts of stuff your spouse doesn't want you to bring home, like way too much TP. In this case, it matches the Lexus RX 350 crossover at nine packs of the two ply. Really folks, wagons are very useful and their floors are lower, so they're easier to load up. I was surprised at the number of people that approached me with questions about the Regal Tourex, and honestly, I think they should ditch the Regal part of the name. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. It's a handsome car. Wagons have a low slung crossover appearance, or crossovers look like lifted station wagons. Take your pick. I especially like this spear that runs down the back pillar and cuts into the tail lamp. Nice touch. If wagons aren't your style, but Buicks are, there's always the Regal Sportback, which is a hatchback. There is no Regal sedan anymore. That's part of the transformation of this brand. Upping the cabin's material quality and adding standard electronic safety features would help even more. America likes its wagons with a rugged look these days. The crew at Buick hopes that approach works for them. Did you hear? Buick thinks the TriShield logo is so well known, it plans on taking its name off future cars. Uh, not sure it's up there with the Golden Arches or Nike swoosh. This car has a heated steering wheel. I love heated steering wheels. You've got cloth on your butt, but your hands, you don't always have gloves. Tourex is essentially an Opel insignia with a tri-shield badge transplant. It's made in Germany. Remember, Peugeot bought Opel from GM and the French automaker now makes Regal Tourex under contract. Considering the lineage and that the transmission is from Japan, it's like driving the United Nations. Uh, and yes, I did have a flat tire, a sidewall cut that was so bad the inflation kit was hopeless. The car had to be brought to the dealership for a new tire. GM is hardly alone in not offering a spare these days. FYI, Buick offers complimentary roadside assistance for six years or 70,000 miles, which I ended up using. And for what it's worth, the exhaust pipe finishers are not connected up. Hey, at least they'll stay clean. Uh, before I go, a story I just have to share with you. You know that whole thing about Buick ditching the name off the back of their car? Well, when I was doing the TP trunk test, a guy approached from the front of the vehicle, looking at the grill and the TriShield logo. He says to me, this is a beautiful car. Is this a Maserati? True story. At least he thought it was a beautiful car. So Buick, if you really are thinking about leaving your name off the vehicles, you might think twice about that. Uh, that's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.